what is up it's tree and today i'm going to make a very easy vegan fried rice got a hankering as always it's organic gluten-free refined sugar-free soy-free and dairy-free let's do it get you some these are the ingredients using an organic chickpea soy-free tofu almond butter chili garlic sauce fresh garlic brown rice more fresh garlic peas carrots green onion coconut aminos and maple syrup preheat the oven to 400 first thing is dicing up your organic soy-free chickpea tofu or whatever tofu you're using into small cubes allowing the extra water to strain and we'll lay it out onto a parchment lined baking tray so we'll put the tofu into the oven and bake for about 25 minutes. Set the timer. Let's rinse the rice before we cook it in filtered water. The reason that we're doing this is because it removes any excess starch resulting in rice that's more separated when cooked versus clumped. It also helps to remove any excess dust or debris that's on the rice, which is curious. So basically rinsing with filtered water never hurts. Rice is a two to one ratio, so we'll use the two cups of the rinsed brown rice here. Put it into the rice cooker. Along with four cups of filtered water. And I'm going to put in three quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Not necessary. I love sea salt, so use at your discretion. Put on the lid. Turn it on. While we're waiting on the tofu to bake, let's mix up the sauce. We have here one quarter cup plus two tablespoons of coconut aminos. Five tablespoons of maple syrup. two tablespoons of almond butter, four teaspoons of chili garlic sauce, Two teaspoons of fresh minced garlic. And two teaspoons of sesame oil. Whisking it up. This is the baked tofu. I peeled it off gently and flipped it just by peeling back the parchment paper. So what we're gonna do next is add it to the marinade and allow it to marinate.
so gently stir and allow to marinate for about five minutes. Now that the pan is hot, I'm using a slotted spoon to scoop the marinated tofu onto the pan, leaving most of the sauce behind for adding in later. I also added in some broccoli in there to steam because we love us some broccoli. Mm, yummy. 